Ryan. Stewie, hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't know. Four different bands said we've been a great crowd, so you tell me. Yeah, I've had a pretty good day, too. People keep passing out and barfing, and that barf is, like, free to take. Awesome. Plus, I met the most amazing girl. Well, I'll tell you this, she's got to be the second most amazing girl here, because I've met the most amazing girl. Oh, oh here, here she, she comes, comes now. now. Hey, Stewie. Hey, Brian. Oh, crap. Wait, how can a music festival chick like two guys? Okay, Brian, so we like the same girl. There's no reason we can't be gentlemen about this. Absolutely, our friendship is more important than any one girl. Hey, guys, I got us all some food. Oh, great. Just mash Brian's pill in there and smear it on the grass. He's good to go. Oh, no, he he's kidding. I I'm perfectly capable of taking a pill. <laughs> yep, down the hatch. Now, Stewie, would you like your food served to you as an airplane or a magic bus? <laughs> you two are so cool and funny. Uh, Brian, especially. Did you happen to read his tweet about jumbo shrimp? <laughs> uh, just a little heads up, Stewie still screams, what's happening when he gets an erection? Oh, this is nice, spending this time together. Brian, why don't you show Cassandra your boost mobile phone? Stewie has AIDS. Guys, guys, there's no reason to fight. I don't have AIDS, by the way. In fact, I was thinking maybe we could all have a three-way. A, a three-way? I mean, yeah, totally. Really? Cool, let's go. I'm serious, man. I'm doing this. I am too. Bring it on. Don't doubt me, Brian. I never back down. Like Boppo, the inflatable punching clown. Ah, you're in big trouble, Boppo. We told you to take a dive in the third round, and you just kept popping back up. Let them have it, boys. <coughs> <coughs> He's pretty tough, boss. I'll handle this. Whoa, Popo, take it easy there, pal. We, 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 we was just playing with you. Yeah, we didn't mean no harm. Popo, we've got the place completely surrounded. We all know how it's going to end. Come out with your hands up, lad. All right, let's lay some ground rules here. You take her left side, I'll take her right. What? Wait, how about top and bottom, or front and back? How about I take head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes? Okay, you can have those. You just gave away the store, mister. You guys ready? Because I am. Ah! What's happening? <gasps> is, is this... is this foreplay? She's dead. I think she had a drug overdose. Well, just because she's out doesn't mean the party's over. Yes, it does. We gotta get out of here. What? We can't just leave her. She had nobody. No family, no friends. Really? How do you know all that? All that? You said you were in love with her. Did you not talk to her at all? Oh, I, I talked to her. I know she liked... tents... and cocaine. Oh, oh, and how she loved bleeding from her nose. You're a monster. You're even worse than Dr. Finkelstein. Igor, did you get the body? Yes, Master. You know what to do. It's a five! A five! All right, come on, Stewie, let's get this over with. What a slow down, Brian. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Why do you think we've been saving that VCR box in the basement? Oh, fine. Um, Cassandra? I'm sorry your life was so screwed up that you almost had a three-way with a dog and a baby, but your life was not without meaning. I left the comfort of the classroom to experience a world beyond books, and thanks to you, I did. Also, I loaned you $40 for that Lumineers t-shirt, and you said you'd pay me back, so I'm gonna take your bra. Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Yeah. Let's go trade this bra for a couple of Gatorades. 